I find all of the entries good, and I find them all very descriptive, though I have to say, 220 is not one that I especially like. Um, 248 and uh, 220. They used a lot of metaphors for like, you can't collect time in a cage, it's not yeah. It's not mm. like a bird or a peanut butter sandwich. It's just a bit too... Mm. Confusing. Yeah, it's, I mean, you might as well just have said time is a peanut butter sandwich. We're talking about peanut butter sandwiches, but we want to know about time. We don't want to know about what we eat for lunch. Yeah. They have a lot of like similes that we can understand. Like, your parents always say that it's time to go to bed, yeah, it's time yeah. to get up, time mm -hmm. to go to school. Oh, see, so I can relate so. to that. That's yeah. Every, yeah. Almost every I kid has it that. It was the best one. I think that the almost, best yeah, thing that you can do understand. to make these good is be general, be relatable, and Why get to the point. Kids have really short attention spans. Like, I can concentrate for like 10 minutes, and then I'll just start zoning out again, and then I'll concentrate. And if they explain it with the least words possible, then kids will probably be able to understand like it. Like entry 154. He asks, like, in the beginning, um, he goes, like, what is time? And if you go to the end of the first paragraph, he says, what is it? You don't have to ask the question twice and then answer it. He, like, it's clear. Yeah. What I like about 220 is how you made the reference of the origins of time with the early yeah, human. Like, oh, yeah. I like that yeah. because it shows how we use time. This is about what time is and what is it really? Is it relative? Is it what is the actual definition? These scientists are used to being in the lab and using all these giant words and all these great methods. And now that they're going to a kid's place, they don't know how to transition us. Well, yeah, you, you gotta get these scientists some credit. Explaining time alone is a hard. very hard thing to do. Explaining it for an 11 year old is like timesing that by two. That's like crazy oh, to do. If you made it into the semi finalists, I just have to say that's a good really job. great that's accomplishment. A really good job. That's a good job. That's something.